Thank you to all who have been supporting the channel by checking out our merch at rejectnationshop.com and becoming Royal Rejects. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. We said it, we said it, we said it, guys. We got ourselves a Beetlejuice part dose trailer. Been on the hunt for this for like three straight days. And of course, it drops when I'm at the gym like a masculine person. And it's only a minute long. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it's worth it. John, you good? Uh, it's going to be the best 60 seconds of my life. Hi. Leave a like Leave on this like video, video, people. people. Also, if you didn't catch the memo, John, myself, Coy, John, Joe, and Michael Tesser are going to be having a WonderCon panel Sunday, March 31st, 2 o'clock p.m. If you are going to WonderCon, please come and attend. It's going to be a, a grandiose, grandiose old time. time. And if you if you haven't decided if you're going to go or not, well, make a decision. And I hope the decision is to go. Let's do this and see what all the hype's about. <laughs> Oh, we're back. Wowie. Yo, daylight come. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the bridge from Sleepy Hollow. And it's got creepy go going. Love it. Home, burn Gorman. Yes, <laughs> Captain O'Hara. <laughs> nah, nah. Yes. Oh, we're back. Model Village. The traditional text. Winona! <laughs> cool. So cool. The juice is loose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's perfect. That's a perfect teaser trailer. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Is that the title of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Perfect teaser. Perfect. What more do you need? There's nothing more you need. I don't think there is anything more you need. That's a perfect teaser trailer. In fact, don't show me any more trailers. Just just let that be it, and then let's go to the movie. Citizens of the Reject Nation, or should I say Royal Rejects, because that is who we call those who check out our RR apparel at rejectnationshop.com. We come out with new designs every month or every two months. It is personally my favorite way you can support the channel. Reason being is because we are involved with every one of the exclusive RR designs that are up at the shop every month it's been growing every month we are getting more and more royal rejects and i really love to hear how people are finding the shirts to not just be cool looking but also fit nicely and feel comfortable i cared about that more than anything else i'm a hairy guy so i'm really like sensitive to fabric we got a bunch of designs already such as our super marvel bro shirt my sister actually designed this one deadpool wolverine inspired my personal favorite one but then we also got our, like our number one bestseller the last daddy t-shirt which has pedro pascal from the last of us inspired carrying baby grogu we have loki's glorious balloon we also have our doctor who shirt which is full of a bunch of classic doctor who quotes on the tardis we have space babies of the galaxy we got ourselves some star wars inspired shirts we got a boys inspired shirt and we have a house of the dragon one as well pointing those out because obviously we have new seasons of those shows coming up and then of course you got a bunch of other designs as well like our bat first one who influences the influencers another last of us inspired t-shirt and of course you know the classic reject symbolism t-shirts as well either one is an amazing way to support the channel and like i said you get to look good while doing it so thank you guys so much do consider going to rejectnationshop.com and also tag us on social media if you end up buying a shirt please tag us we'd love to see it when people do end up buying the shirts thank you royal rejects see you guys soon i guess the real question now is what is going to be different about this we know that tim burton has been there's been like talks about a Beetlejuice sequel since like the first one came out. Yeah, man. Years ago. It's supposed been, to go Hawaiian. It's been development hell for the longest time. Had a yeah. successful cartoon. And now we're finally getting this film. And as much as I love the nostalgia fest, as much as I love that Ghostbusters Afterlife feel. Dusting <laughs> off the old, the old, the, what are those called? The little place out of the, the it's town. Like a model village. Model village. Jeez, yeah. I couldn't pull the words. A little model village. I still, uh, still want to see what is going to be different about this one. What I am excited about, John, is that I have heard that Tim Burton is going to be going back to the practical side again. And stop motion, yeah. And that is what we need 
of good old Timothy Burton. He said that making this movie like brought him back to what he actually loves about filmmaking, and God, I hope that is true, because even just watching that one moment where the crack forms in the ground of right. the model village and the green light, and the, like, which is an easy effect to achieve, but just like even that felt tangible in a way that Tim Burton's stuff hasn't felt to me in a long time. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like Michael Keaton, of course, can pull this off. He could pull off old man Bruce Wayne. You could bet your ass he can pull off old man Beetlejuice because he's in makeup. So you don't need, you're not going to even tell. As long as he can do the voice, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> you, know? you can body double for anything that's especially challenging. Yeah, but hey, he doesn't need it. We all saw the flash. That's true. Very true. Yeah. That was definitely him doing all those fight scenes. And General Ortega coming off of Wednesday working with Tim Burton. Obviously, they have a great companionship when it comes to actress and director. And I feel like just the aura she omits is perfect for the Beatles. It's just a Tim Burton verse yeah. of it all. Uh, She's I, already very Lydia Dietz anyway in a lot yeah. of her roles. She's and, got uh, much more range than that, but can very easily fall into that deadpan. Absolutely. And Winona Ryder, you expect her to come she back. I saw some people on Twitter being like, why is it Alec Baldwin back? Because <laughs> ghosts can't age <laughs> yeah know? that would be uh, what about and he's a little bit of a controversial figure at this moment in time <laughs> yeah and where are my people championing for gina davis I amongst know. all this i know <laughs> come on at least spread the love okay yeah the, the, we need some new ghosts we could do with some new ghosts what i liked about what this trailer did too was it captured a little bit more of that fantastical horror side mm -hmm. like beetlejuice is kind of a scary film and in some regards, right? It's more of like gothic spooky, that fun Tim Burton family charm in a way. But it's still, still like twisted, a yeah. still a twisted macabre piece of material. And this felt a little bit more horror yeah. than I was expecting it to, especially with like the ominous funeral. But the way this is shot, the way this is looking, uh, and just from those uh, Entertainment Weekly photos, which is what we got here, just in motion. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm excited for it, man. I, I feel like that if after this long, there's got to be a reason why Tim Burton and company has decided now is the time to actually do a Beetlejuice two, or Tim Burton just like I need to get my career back on track. <laughs> I need a surefire hit. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing is, is you could easily roll your eyes at this and I'm certainly going to proceed with an amount of caution. However, I, I sometimes have like a hope when it comes to like a long gestated sequel, especially because they're not going to do Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian, obviously. But, you know, when, yeah, everybody returns and if they can embrace the passage of time, I think special things can happen when you do a sequel this far removed from the original. So uh, I, I I have hope, and hearing Tim Burton talk, it just seems like he's become quite aware of what a lot of us have been feeling about a lot of his stuff lately. So yeah. I feel like this could be, yeah, a real chance to return us to something that really kind of touches us in a way that hasn't in a long time. And that, yeah, has that sense of fun, but also brings that sense of the macabre that is so kind of rare to find now in a situation that isn't like really one or the other like tim burton has a great when he's really on has a great means of blending the two equally so you have like great gateway horror for younger viewers and stuff sure. like that and i hope that this can embody that because i feel like it is rare in its pure form and tim burton used to be one of the people who could bring it in its purest form you know yeah yeah you know? well overall i think this is uh, like the perfect teaser to remind us that this is going to be hearkening back and giving us the vibes of the first movie. Yeah. And I can't wait for the full theatrical trailer. More importantly, I can't wait for the actual movie in the theaters. And it says it's going to be an IMAX, and I feel like that's a great format to experience Beetlejuice again. What did you guys think of our teaser trailer? Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you want more? Are you disappointed Alec Baldwin's not back ah. in here? Leave your thoughts down below. Is Danny Elfman doing the score? Someone commented. Better be. Leave a like. Come to WonderCon. If you're at WonderCon, come to our panel. I hate going to WonderCon and bumping into people, being like, huge fan of your channel. I'm like, did you go to our panel? No. no. Your disappointment. Yeah. Hey, Paige for Day Shot. <laughs> Anissa Oliva, how are you? I miss you. It's spring break, and I'm just imagining if you would come here for spring break, all the crazy stuff we could be doing. All right, we could be out at Venice Beach doing some kind of interpretive dance body art or something like that. Or we could be out in your neck of the woods in Texas at one of your amazing 
Texas beaches that I assume that you guys have because you're also coastal in certain areas. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like we, we, we've kind of lost each other recently. I feel like we're in need of a reunion of epic proportions because you are one of the most enduring and the most caring and supportive people we have ever known on the Patreon. And I feel like that's all a front for something, and we got to hang out more so we can figure out what that front is so that we can either take you down or help you out if it's something that we could mutually benefit from. You know what I'm talking about. So, hey, thank you for continually being here and supporting us. But let's get back out there and do some adventuring and crime, maybe. I don't know. Either way. Oh, we love you. Be well. <laughs> <laughs>